Time now for a look at the latest in sports live from Cardinale Stadium where we had a Western Conference showdown on our hands tonight. Ultimately it does end in Sacramento's favor. The Republic end up winning 1-0 essentially spoiling Rafael Baca's initial debut with Monterey Bay FC. Oh, it was exciting. At the end of the day uh, it's a new journey. Obviously it didn't start the way I wanted it to start with a win but I think we're on the right path. Rafael Baca's initial takeaways from tonight's match, his first with the Crispin Kelp. It came after a slight delay with paperwork in the process of making the move from Mexico to the United States, but that only added to the anticipation. Fans more than excited as the veteran midfielder took the pitch, the crowd giving him a warm welcome to the Central Coast. And his impact, well, it could already be seen, especially in that first half. Last match, head coach Frank Yallop told me the union need their confidence back in the side as a whole, look stronger this time out. Carlos Herrera between the pipes tonight and there he is with an early stop Herrera he will finish the match with three saves as the Union look crisp out there on the pitch there's Rafa with a great stop to slow down Sacramento and how about this one a big time stop for the captain Hugh Roberts coming through shutting down Republic but in the 35th minute the visitors strike Russell Cicerone sending one across and into open scoring despite a few more good looks for both sides that would wind up being the lone goal of the match, essentially putting an end to those festivities. But the Union, they already have their sights set on next week. The most important thing right now is the next game, obviously, against uh, Tampa. It's going to be tough. Sacramento was tough today. Uh, I thought we played really well the first, the first half. The second half, we, we kind of slowed down a little bit. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think we're on the right, on the right track. Despite a late red card against Sack, the Union are unable to capitalize, although they do come close. How about this look? Maury Donor into Jesse Maldonado, but Republic just there to make the stop. The Chris McKelp continuing to chip away, looking for one last opportunity, but they fall just short as Sacramento Republic ends up winning this one by a final of 1-0. The Union, though they main pos maintain position, I should say, they're still in 10th place, but keep in mind the difference between 5th and 10th only divided by a few points. As I've been saying all week, a couple of wins can drastically shake up these standings. Next up, they have a two-match road trip, as you heard from Rafa. Tampa Bay is up next. That's what they're focused on. Then after that, it's San Antonio. Then back to Cardinale for Colorado. A couple of the tough matches continuing uh, to line up here for Monterey Bay FC, but uh, their sights are set on turning the corner. You heard it from Rafa. You heard it from Hugh Roberts earlier this week. They're looking just to turn that corner, like I said, and move this in the right direction. So despite the tough result tonight, there's a feeling of hope that things could be turning around very soon with quite a few matches in, left in this season, really. So we'll have to see what's to come. We'll be talking with Rafa next week about his move to Monterey Bay FC, both uh, on KI1 and Telemundo. So you want to keep an eye out for that one. But in the meantime, though, at your look at sports, live from Cardinale Stadium.